Guys, today we are going to read a beautiful story from the Hadith, volume number 8, book number 82, number 791 of Sayyid al-Bukhari. You will find it number 82 of Sayyid al-Bukhari. This story is all about the wickedness of Muhammad. One, we are going to find how Muhammad was asking people, ask people to go and specifically do something with camel urine, to drink urine as a form of medicine and then secondly what the people did and how and what happened once they did it first we are going to see this you see some people from the tribe of UK, UK, UKL came to the prophet and embraced Islam they came to the prophet and accepted and embraced Islam the climate of Medina <coughs> sorry did not suit them so the prophet ordered them because the climate did not suit them. So the prophet ordered them to go to the head of the milch, camels of charity, and to drink their milk and urine as a medicine. They did so, and after they had recovered from their ailment, become healthier. After they became healthier, they turned, they turned renegades means they reverted from Islam. So they disconverted again. So they became, they abandoned Islam and killed the shepherd of the camels and took the camels away. So now, this is the first part of the story. Some people came to Islam, they came to see the prophet, they accepted Islam uh, they, because they were rich and living with the prophet. They told the prophet that they were not feeling fine, they were sick, a little bit sick. They told them to go and drink camel urine and milk is going to help them to treat their illness. They got healthier. They came back. When, once they got healthier, they decided to renounce Islam. They renounced Islam. They killed the shepherd of the camels, took the camels away. What did the prophet of Islam do? What did he do? Guys, I want us to not to forget one small thing. You know, according to Islam, he who obeys Muhammad the obedience of Muhammad is equivalent to obey Allah. Surah chapter 4 verse 80. Surah chapter 3 verse 32. He who obeys Muhammad obeys Allah. So, and then we find out that this person called Muhammad is actually a sinner. Don't forget this. Have this in mind. He's actually a sinner. Chapter 4 verse, chapter 48 verse 1 to 2 and chapter 40 verse 55. He's actually a sinner. And this is what it is. I don't have Bible references. Yes, I have them in my head. I'll give you the Bible references. There is a story if you have seen, and if you have never seen it, just go and type on Google or YouTube the film of Jesus Christ. The film in the movie of Jesus Christ is actually written in John chapter 1. John, John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Those books, you'll find it there, what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ was sitting somewhere, and then there was a woman which was a prostitute was a woman was caught in the very act of adultery and then she was brought to jesus christ according to the tradition they had to stone her to death so what happened jesus christ simply told her um jesus christ simply told the people uh, you who are without sin you should be the first person if you have no sins and you're standing there take the stone and shoot it on that woman and then he told the woman go and never fornicate again go and never commit adultery again and she went and she was saved and he saved her from the arms of those people she did something that was wrong and then she was saved by jesus christ and then we have what is the prophet of islam actually doing here the people sent the prophet sent some people in their pursuit and so they were caught and brought and the prophet ordered that their hands and legs should be cut off and that their eyes should be brand that their eyes should be branded with with heated pieces of iron and that their cut hands and legs should not be should not be uh, uh, cauterized till they die till they die guys i don't know if you're understanding what is happening here we have a villain according to films we have a villain and then this villain is giving the order we saw in the other pass in the other passage saying something like, "He who obey chapter number six here, obey obedience to Muhammad is equivalent to obedience of Allah." And say and so, they had to obey. He gave the order, go and catch them. Cut their hands, and cut their legs. They cut their hands, 
Just imagine the process of cutting somebody's hands with a machete, with a seesaw. They were cutting somebody's hands. They, they were cutting all their hands and they cut off, yeah, and then they go and hit the metal. They first of all cut their hands and then they are still standing and they are bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. They cut down their legs. They are bleeding more and they are more in pain and then they torture. And then now what will happen? They now say, hey guys, go and take iron and go and hot it. They go and take iron and then they go and hot it. Bring the hotted, the heated iron. They bring the heated iron, put it in their eyes. And then what happened? They put it inside their eyes. <sighs> this guy, according to Islam, where is the verse? According to Islam, he is, according to Islam, according to the Quran, the pattern of conduct. And what he did here is exactly what the Boko Haram are doing in my country in Africa. And that is what is happening. Even just to dare try to annoy the prophet, you have a curse on you in this world, in the hereafter, and has prepared a punishment for humiliation on the, in the hereafter. So you just, you just annoy him, you are going straight to hell. Guys, I did not say something. I just read and I gave you what is read. What I read is the best guidance. And the worst thing of all worst thing is that he is a sinner. Chapter 48, verse 1 to 2. Chapter 40, verse 55. Please, surrender your life to God. Run away from Islam. Surrender your life to Jesus.